So hello, welcome again to our reading of Herodotus, Book 1, and up to Chapter 87. So at this stage, poor old Croesus is on the pyre. The fire's got out of control. Cyrus wants to bring him down, but is unable to. So what's going to happen? Enthalta legetai hupaludon croison methonta ten kuru metagnosin. And at that point, it is said by the Lydians that Croesus, having learned of the metagnosis, the change of mind of Cyrus, uh, hos hora. Now this is from Horao. So when um, when he saw. So you get a contraction here, and you just get an alpha. It looks like first person, but it's actually third person. So when he saw, uh, now we get a men, and there'll be a de here. Uh, so when he saw each man, uh, spenunta, quenching, or perhaps trying to quench the fire, but no longer, but them no longer being able, catalabane, perhaps to restrain it, might be right there from Catalambano. Epi Bosastai from Epi Boao. So he called uh, out, uh, calling upon Apollo. Aeti hoi ke carries men on ek autu edorethe. So, so if now I think the tick goes. This is enclitic, which is why the uh, got the accent on t, and I think that goes with the uh, carries men on in the sense of pleasing. So if any pleasing thing had been given as a gift, hoy to him, that is Apollo, ex autu from him, i.e. from Croesus. So he calls upon Apollo if any pleasing thing had been given to him from the hand of Croesus. So he called upon him Paris uh, Stanai to stand beside him, Kairusas their men, and to save him from his present trouble. Tonmen Dracruanta. So they say that he called. Uh, upon the god uh, in tears. So they say that he was weeping as he called upon the god. Now we get a nice men and there's our de. Uh, but uh, ek i threas. Now i threas is a clear sky. So from a clear sky and from ne nemia. Now this is the ne, the negative, plus animos, so cloudless. So from a clear and cloudless sky, understood, uh, ex apines, suddenly, nephia, this is from nephos, third declension, new to plural, that suddenly clouds to have literally run together, so perhaps we would say to have gathered, and a camona, a kata ragenai, from kata regnumi, a storm to have broken out, and uh, it, Husai, it to have rained uh, with violent, uh, well, li literally with violent water. So it to have rained uh, with uh, a violent uh, water storm, perhaps we'd say. So a storm to have broken out and violent water to have fallen. Uh, and they say that this kata uh, spestani, that they say that this is an aorist passive here uh, from kata spenumi, and that the pyre to have been quenched, kata uh, spestani. So that they say the fire was quenched. Huto de manthonti ton curon, and thus. Uh, they say that Croesus, having learned 
So in this way, oh, sorry, I should say Huto, in this way Croesus, having learned that Croesus was, optative from the verb to be here, uh, both a Theophilus, a man loved by God, and a good man, Catabibasan to Auton, having brought him down from the pyre, to have said, oh, sorry, to have asked him the following things. O Croesus, who among men, anagnose uh, persuaded, I think, so who among men persuaded you, um, you having made a campaign against my land, so who persuaded you, let me get the infinitive, catastainai, uh, literally to establish perhaps hostility to me, anti-philu rather than friendship. Uh, or it might be to establish, yeah, I think that's what it is, uh, yeah, to establish hostility rather than friendship to me. Hodiape, and he said, O Basilu, O King, ego tauta eprexate se men eudaimonie. And we get a, a nice men and a debt here. So I did these things um, literally to your benefit, to your good fortune, but to my bad fortune. So what happened turned out to be to your good fortune and to my bad fortune. Uh, now we get a de here, um, and there was an, oh yeah, we get a men and a de there. Um, but the god of the Greeks um, was Aetios, responsible to tone for these things. Ep Aras from Epiro, well, having stirred me up, having incited me, uh, Stratuesthi, to make the campaign. Ude Skahuto and Noetos Esti, for no one is so stupid, whoever, Hyreti, whoever chooses, uncontracted form here, whoever chooses war in place of peace. Now we get this very nice little construction here. We've got a men and a de, and we've got a te and a to. And we have a nice chiasmus here. He's mentioned war and peace. And the te refers to the arena, the peace, and the to refers to the war. So we get a nice chiasmus, a crossover. So no one is so stupid that they would choose war instead of peace. For in peace, so in the, in, in the first one, that is, well, so in that one, in peace, the sons, Thaptusi, bury their fathers. But in the second, nice men and de here, and in the second, that is in, not the second, sorry, in the other one, in war, the fathers understand bury their children. So, just do that again. For in peace, the sons bury their, their fathers, but in war, the fathers bury their sons. Ala tauta daimoni ku philon ein huto genestai. Now, we get this ku here for pu, and it's enclitic, which is why we've got two accents here. So something like perchance these th so but perchance these things were dear to the god to take place huto in this way. So perhaps it was dear to the gods for these things to happen thus. And that's chapter eighty or section eighty seven.